Now whenever I replace a battery, you probably should do it more often than whenever you replace a battery. I, I like to clean up the cables as good as I can. And uh, I've never found a tool that I really, really like for it. Uh, these things here are pretty good. The one for cleaning the battery post, that, that part of it, that works really good. But then it's got this brush here for cleaning the cable ends and uh, it quickly gets all mushed down and not all that effective. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and see if I can make something for cleaning out uh, battery cables and uh, any other type of small bore. I'm going to start here with a piece of eighth inch cable and uh, this stuff is pretty cheap. You can get it at a store for not much more than a dollar a foot if it's any more than that. I'm going to cut it off with these uh, cable cutting pliers. If you don't have these you can cut this with a uh, die grinder would work really good. But whatever way you want to do it, um, you don't need very much. Alright, so I got about three inches of this eighth inch cable cut. Um, what I'm going to do next is going to be very reminiscent of the very first video I ever made on this channel. I think you'd think find that to be pretty interesting. Uh, so go back to uh, my video section there and just uh, scroll down to the oldest video and uh, you'll find a good way to clean clogged drains using this material. Um, what we're going to do here is we are going to uh, kind of untwist the end of this cable and then uh, peel each of the individual strands back so they'll be uh, sticking out at a right angle. Okay so I got that cable clamped in this vise and I got the with about oh I had about a half of an inch of it sticking out of the vise. And now I, I clamped a vice grip pliers to it. Now I'm just going to kind of unscrew it so those individual strands will be uh, not twisted amongst each other. Don't have to unscrew it very far either, only about like half a turn. All right, so now you got something that looks kind of like that. And now what you're going to do, and this is kind of, you'll get poked a few times, but you just take your fingers and just bend all these uh, individual strands so they're at right angles uh, to the main piece of cable. Okay, as you do this, you will come to realize that a cable isn't just a bunch of small wires all twisted together. What it is, it's some bundles of small wires that are twisted together, and then each of those bundles then is twisted together. So what you'll probably end up having to do is uh, once you get that uh, unscrewed there, like I did in the vise there on the first step, is you'll take a pliers and uh, kind of unscrew it. It's only about half a turn, each of those individual uh, small bundles of cables. And then just bend them out uh, at a right angle as best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but this is like just about like anything else. Uh, you know, the more time you spend at it, the more careful you are, the better end product you'll have. And uh, you basically want to have just about every single strand uh, bent at a right angle uh, without being still twisted to another strand. Okay, then once you have it like this, next thing we're going to do is we're going to chuck it in a drill. And I also think that this doesn't need to be quite this long, so actually I'm going to, I'm going to actually cut this again and probably shorten it up oh, until it's about two inches long total. Okay, so I got my little homemade brush chucked into the drill and I chucked a battery terminal clamp into this vise. So now I'll put my uh, drill in there. This is something you want to be wearing safety glasses for when you do obviously, but then you can just take your drill and run it in and out. And it's easier to do if you have, if you can use them both hands. I'm holding one hand on the camera and one on the uh, drill, so you can't do it quite as good as, you, as if you uh, had both hands. And the other thing you do here too is you can actually uh, run it on the, that area in between the, the clamp and kind of clean out some areas that you normally wouldn't be able to get with a regular brush. At this point here we'll take it out and see what kind of job it did. I wonder if you can see how good a job it did. I mean it got this uh, battery cable clamp pretty much shiny metal all the way through. I've never seen anything that cleaned up a battery uh, cable clamp so well and 
Geez, this thing here is a, basically a free tool. It worked pretty darn good. This out in the daylight here, so maybe you can see what a great job that did cleaning up that battery cable clamp. Um, I can't see it right now because the glare on my camera viewfinder is so bad it's just like looking at a black screen, but hopefully that'll show up there and give you an idea of what a good job it did. I hope you liked this video. If you did, uh, make sure to like, share, subscribe, you know, do all the things it takes to make this the number one channel on YouTube. And until next time, we'll see you here on the Fix Yourself channel.